guys, we are back in Free Code Camp. We're working on getting our free developer certificate, full stack developer and web developer certificate. We're in basic algorithm scripting, bonfire, factor, factorialize a number. If you're not sure what it means to factorialize, it's typically denoted by a number and then an exclamation point following it. And what that means is we are going to take that number, in this case five, and then we are gonna multiply it all the way down to one. And so in this case, five factorial is 120. So first thing that we need to look at is what's going on. So we need this first one to return 120. So what are we going to do for this? So we're gonna create a for loop and we're going to have create a variable i to keep track of it. And in this case, we're starting it at one. We're also going to say, well, i is less than num, uh, the number we're going with. Uh, we're gonna change that shortly though. And then we're going to say num is equal to num uh, times i. So we're in our theory, we're going to go 1 times 5, 2 times uh, 5, 3 times 10, 4 times 20, and get our, our um, and so on and so forth. So, uh, but the only issue here is that we actually can't use num. We're going to use count. And we're going to set a variable before because I was having issues with this. Uh, I've done this many times. Uh, so we actually need to keep count because when we keep on increasing num here, we're going to actually decrease. We're going to keep increasing this in its infinite loop. So let's go ahead and run this to see what's going on. So that, that works. So we store a thing to num here. We say uh, create a variable i, say as long as i is less than our count, whatever our num is, increase it, store the num here, and then let's return it when we're done. So you can see that it works for factorial 5, and then we can do factorialize is, uh, 10, which is going to be 3.62 million or so. There's that, and then we can just go ahead and copy and put that in there as well. But you see right here that and then whatever ginormous this number is. At factorial zero, we do not get a value. And factorial zero should return one. And so what we're going to do is just a simple if statement. We're going to say if count is equal to num, equal, equal, equal to num. Um return one else do our for loop that we just wrote so now let's go ahead and just take out all these guys and we just want to test out zero so let's make sure that we are returning one run it naturally they want all of it Oh, whoops. So if count is equal equal to zero, that's what we wanted to do. Um, I guess we need to use three equals. Run that, there we go. Cool, so let's go ahead and tweet this. It's always good to try and help out uh, these free sites. So just a quick thing, let's type in some comments right here so we can go, if we need to come back, uh, we know what we're talking about here. So var count is equal to num, why did we do that? We did that so that we could store account variable for a for loop here um, statement for unique zero case scenario uh, and then here we did our uh, loop to factorialize starting at one and moving up to the end. Cool. So that's our comments. That was uh, how to factorialize a number of bonfire. I'll see you guys in the next challenge, which is going to be, let's check it out here real quick. Uh, check for palindromes. So should be uh, a lot of strings and stuff like that. See you guys next time.
Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all the comments that I get and all the questions I get in the comments. And I'm happy to answer them. So keep them coming. And I'll see you in the next video.